Namaskaram, welcome to P Gurus. I'm your host JK. Today we're going to discuss something very important and that's going to impact uh, the future of the country, Bharat, to an extent that this is a topic that we have to discuss on education and educational institution. We are really happy to welcome once again retired professor of IAM Bangalore, Mr. Ramesh. Namaskar, Swami. Thank you, JK. I mean, it's really a great pleasure to meet you in person. Yeah, I guess we have done a few shows, but it's always been online. And then this is, uh, yeah, I mean, I look forward to it really. <laughs> right. So recently, uh, we understand there are some letters being written to the IAM director, chairman of the board as well. And that has come from two set of people. One said asking the corporate India not to fund these institutions and the other said writing to the board of the director, rather to board of IEMs, asking him to just look into this kind of uh, issues being raised, uh, like academic freedom, for example. Yeah. What exactly is academic freedom? Okay. Yeah, I mean, this is going very hot in Bangalore, incidentally, where I come from. You know? And if you ask me, JK, writing to corporates, what they exactly said it defund, defund the hate speech. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, this is again the, I mean, maybe West US, or West Coast US language. Right. Okay. Defund and all that. Okay. And uh, which is really cutting at the very root of IIMs and IITs. Okay. Because we have very strong exist, you know, I mean, I could say connections with corporates. And uh, you know our students go for placements there, and all our research are all corporate oriented. You know, so we are actually there for students, and then the corporate world, private sector, public sector, and all those things. To say that you know defund is really venomous. I would say you no, know, they should not have gone this far. I mean, right. Some of us felt really hurt. That's why I mean some of the retired IS officers and police service officers and all have returned because they have been stakeholders when they were in service. Some of them could have been even in the board of IIMs and IITs or could have been education secretaries. So these are very new language to India. Let's not go that far. Okay. Right. And that's something I strongly object. Academic freedom. Okay. I'll give a historical background, very interesting historical <laughs> background. Right. The current generation or I would say even your generation would right. not have known what is academic freedom. Right. I've been a student during the emergency time in 70s, okay, before, I mean, 75, after 77, universities used to be chaotic, right. okay, they were all around agitation all over India, whenever I used to, I was in Triple K and then I was going, you know, studying in Chennai only, daily our suspense used to be, today will the college be there or not, right. okay. The students will, you know, have an issue with a bus crew or they might have a fight with policemen. No, I guess even in our time. <laughs> 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 but then yeah. MGR brought it down very strongly right. after 77. Right. All India also, all India again, it was chaotic because, I mean, Jantadal time was there. Right. It was chaos because suddenly they found like a new independence or something like that, which was really, <laughs> which didn't happen post 1947. Correct. Okay. Among the students, I mean, those are... Other things happen, massacre and all that, not student rights and like that. So it's very, very important that we don't go that far. I mean, right. do these people want that situation in India? You know what? Those days, none of the exams used to be conducted on time. Okay. Right. University results used to come after a year. People will get selected from IIMs, but their university results would not have come. I, I have seen that situation. When I was in IIM Bangalore, IIM Ahmedabad, that time I was a student. Okay. 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 Student would have, he might be a Delhi University student, he would have got selected, but university results getting delayed because of the exam problem. Okay. We have come out of all that. So okay. I guess right now you are saying that everything is streamlined academically. Streamlined is control. Control. Okay. And a lot of self-control. Students right. don't misbehave and right. all that. But, but, but again, uh, all this student agitation in IIM, uh, we hear about a lot of study circles, uh, going against professors, trying to, you know, in fact, trying to kind of implicate the institution itself if a student commits suicide. I guess mm -hmm. are, are, um, these IEMs and IITs are supposed to be premium institutions, yeah. right? I guess they, they, they are the pride of the country. Why are they targeting this? Yeah, so before that, let me just I guess let, that let, academic freedom. Academic freedom, yep, yep, yep. So academic freedom, what happens? Academic freedom for academic institutions is non-negotiable. 
Correct. Okay, you can never compromise on the academic freedom. But it also comes with a lot of responsibilities. Okay, you don't just speak top of the mind. You don't speak out of mind. You don't write, you know, what strikes you or like that. Uh, I, I, I remember the <laughs> Spider-Man <laughs> dialogue exactly. where he says, with power comes a responsibility. Correct. Okay. That's what these people, you know, these letters say. I mean, they are written very irresponsible, you know, <clears throat> statements there, which can be very provocative. Correct. Okay. Correct. That is hate speech. If you read what they wrote is hate speech. Okay. You, I mean, academic freedom, I always used to have these internal fights and arguments and IIMs also, even with other IIMs and IIT, because I've got great network across institutions. Okay. Is that anything you speak, What's the background to that? What's your background research to that? Okay, have you studied the issue? Once I asked a professor, he's a professor, he's, I mean, very senior professor from one of the scientific institute in Bangalore. He was one of the signatory to the anti CAI protest. Okay. Okay, he okay. has signatory. Right. I asked him, sir, minimum, sir, did you at least read it? Or <laughs> did anybody brief it to you? He said, Ramesh, listen, I mean, I have not read it, I agree. But I trust the colleague who has signed it. Right. I said, will you give co-authorship to your paper like this? Somebody has written and then you will give a co-authorship. Aren't you giving you a co-authorship when somebody gives you a letter and asks you to sign it, which is even more Dangerous. national importance. Correct. Yeah. He was dumb. No, he never reacted. I mean, you know, so this has gone that far. The academic freedom we say. But today what's happening is, uh, you know, this sort of a improper use of academic freedom. I'm not saying misuse even. Improper. And without any self-regulatory system, either the you know one there has to be consensus within the institute to define what is academic freedom, and if they go beyond, either the board or academic council should some some writers, warn them, right? Or director should come, you know I wouldn't say come down. It's again seen as very heavy, <laughs> right? But they should warn. be told, right? Right? You know, I mean, it can't be that you will just speak your mind. You know, in especially public issues like always tell one thing, Sridhar. We should remember. I tell my colleagues always, both I and I am and all that. When you are speaking, when I was speaking as I am professor, I speak. I get my credibility from being from I am. Correct. And so you study there and then become correct. a professor. So yeah. What happens is that when I take I am name, I am firing through the shoulders of I am. <laughs> right. Right. Okay, all the fallback is on the I am, all right. the reflection is on the I am. So, more, not res on you. more responsibility for you. Correct, more responsibility and more caution. Caution, correct. That you should be aware you are using I am name and saying something. I used to tell anything about a protest, go to the street and protest. That's how we used to protest those <laughs> days. I mean, you know what, those days, if there's a protest, they first throw you out of the college. Correct. Say, minimum minimum out. suspension, isn't it? That's all. And if I'm arrested, my college won't even come to the station or something. Right. To support you or something. Students have to come out. Right, yeah. right. So this is where the academic freedom today is. So we need to really define, the institutes have to really reach a consensus and what is allowed, what's not allowed, and this far and no further and things like that. You know? Right. Just reflecting on my question once again. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. So again, so when we yeah, talk suicides, about... Right. Yeah, so I guess... Students protesting on behalf of suicides, right? They 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 they're just kind of growing the institution. Uh, in fact, stop stopping the institution from functioning itself. Uh, do you think that uh, the, uh, the the some kind of dilution in the premium institution happening you now? You know, Sri Rampur, now Jadapur also something happening. Protest yep, and all yep, yep. Jadapur University. As a faculty, I mean, we also, I mean, throughout my life, I live with my stu students. Okay. And what I was saying, we take sort of a liberal view and considerate view of this. Okay, you want to protest, you protest. Right. Okay. Right. And you think your faculty have done wrong, yes, protest. Or you want to give a complaint, you give a complaint, we inquire. And we proactively inquire also. One point where it gets very murky is when outsiders join the narrative. Right. And then they, when it takes a different shape. And, you know, then it's really a very unfair we are unfairly pitched. No, okay. so in fact, why I why I brought in the suicide episode yeah. itself is because they were, in fact, they were private institutions where suicide occurred, not one, many. And that was kind of just brushed under the carpet, saying, you know, just, just a normal thing, that uh, depression, something, because they're out of uh, home, all that. But one suicide in IIT, it triggers everything, right? And I guess, uh, in fact, to an extent that professors are being implicated on uh, cases for that, 
you know one thing is uh, i mean i some of this thing approach sociologically and like that okay Why? second thing is that when there is a great institution let me tell you these are very great institutions they are global no, institutions no, 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 no doubt, doubt. no doubt yeah. and i am very proud of my iits and iims and aims and like that right when you say all this there is always je jealousy created outside Right. Now, who is jealous of any private institution? You tell me. No, the nobody. <laughs> there, there is no need to. Do they give it a second look? Maybe, Correct. You know. Correct. I mean, so one there is a jealousy. Right. So there is always an anti-group outside the campus, right. looking for opportunities like this to exploit like that. What I am telling is that I mean, you know, irrespective of where it occurred and which government it occurred and like that, you know, I would say have respect for these institutions. You know, these things could happen. You know, we are like pressure cookers. The faculty also live in pressure, pressure cooker, not right. just in the student. And we have safety walls. You know, right. When I say pressure cooker, can you show me one pressure cooker or boiler without a safety wall? Okay, that, right. that's a public grievance. Is a safety wall. Correct. Okay, and we try to manage. We don't try to suppress. We we won't go to press saying this happened and then this what we handle. That we may not do. Right. But definitely internally we'll handle where required. We may take the police also. Okay. But outside people should show some restraint. Reporting, there should be some restraint. Right. Government also. Government is generally restrained. Okay. Even in the Tamil Nadu case, I don't know why. Suddenly, why you know Kerala CM rise to our CM and things like that. And I'm a very poor professor. Yeah. I'm getting some <laughs> UGC salary. Right. For that UGC salary, salary. Sorry. I cannot be you know facing the wrath of you know chief ministers and. HRD ministers and all. I mean, have sympathy for me. You know, uh, we are after all deserve it, trying to do our best. Correct. I mean, you know, so if we have made a mistake, sorry, we have made a mistake, and we'll take the punishment. Right. Okay, but don't criminalize that. Correct. You are really criminalizing faculty in some of those situations, and uh, so society has to take ownership. Parents have to take ownership. Students have to take ownership. Our ownership be full. You know, be assured we are taking the ownership. No. Yeah, so, so just coming back to again yeah. the dilution of the institution. Sure, no, it's very important. Yeah. yeah. So, do you think uh, uh, arts and science, humanity, for uh, example, uh, is kind of uh, pulling back uh, the, the overall, uh, say, the the the, uh, the greatness of the institution? Do you think you no? Know, because IIT is meant for technology, and IIM is meant for business schools. Right. So, uh, bringing in humanity and all the other things, do you think it is kind of uh, making distraction, the distraction, or even even just dilute, dilute, or even making it um, uh, more more like a very common rather than premium. So I tell you, what's the general feeling about among some faculty and some students? Right. In probably most of the IITs and IIMs. Okay. So this is a caveat. Okay, it's not some. So what's happening is that there are these. If you take uh, IITs. Okay, then they kept one humanities and social science department. Correct. There's a linguistic department to teach language. Right. Okay. Off late is another one that's coming up with the public policy department, of which I am also one of the guys. <laughs> okay, got to be a member. <laughs> I'm a public policy professor. Right, right. Okay. Okay. Now, what is happening is that most of these, you know, protests, not agitation, strikes, and all, they don't. They Correct. And then the sort of mails that I was referring to and all. There is a feeling that these emanate from these sort of departments and like that. I, I guess the feeling is true, isn't it? Huh? It's true. It's yeah, true. yeah, yeah. Okay. It's true in the sense that uh, the trigger could be coming from there. Yeah. Okay. So, as you said, from outsider, somebody is just feeding it uh, to. No, it's, um, there's a network among them that I saw. Okay. You know, once you know what, since you asked me, let me mention this. Uh -huh. JNU may something happen. Okay. Right. That uh, Joini leader got beaten and then she came with a band name, Arushi or Ayushi or somebody. Right, okay. Right. So I was then, I was in IIM. So I suddenly re realized one IIT students put out a poster saying, let's all meet outside the gate. Right. Within half an hour, I see another IIM putting out a notice saying, let's all meet in this square. So what's uh, up groups? I realized, really surprised. <laughs> I organize, you know, international seminars, conferences. I spam IITs and IIMs, I don't get any response. <laughs> okay, here IIT may something happen. Real time may. Yep. I'm saying real time may have arrived. Half an hour. Real time is happening. Yeah. Okay. And then people are already on the street, hit the streets. 
I mean, what sort of network is this? Absolutely. Okay. Mind blowing. Mind blowing. You no, it's not. <laughs> Much more. Much I'm not more. telling you because like, you know I also want to be cautious like that. Right. Okay. Because I don't want psych people. Okay. But this is where it is. So humanities and social science so happened probably 25 years, probably something like that, or even before. See, by their own tradition, they will be this sort of you know studying social issues. Okay, there could be some sociologists among them, economists among them. Correct. Okay, right. so linguists is also they will always study some critical theory, right? Race theories and like that. If you take the sociologists and like that, okay. So by the training, they could be like that, okay. But what I always used to argue among IIMs and IITs, listen, you are housed in a technology school and management school. That is right. Your strength and specialization is technology and, and management. Management. You are in a policy department in technology school. Study technology policy. Tell me cyber policy. Tell me telecom policy. Correct. But what I, I mean, you should. I'm not saying you should not study something. Right. But I'm asking, are you studying this? this that right I have. That right government has got. That Correct. right institute has got. Right. And I return to the ministry also. Okay. Right. I'm saying do a peer review of what they are doing and what the central thesis like that. Once in one I am, I took out a list of 10 seminars they did. This is all about the due apologies to you know, all the people, left liberals, okay. It could be about poverty, gender, okay, and inequality, class, and things like that. I said, yeah, you guys are none of your sociologists, none of you are, you know, <laughs> studied these things. Who are you guys to speak? Okay, you want to solve poverty, which is what I was doing. Right. But I will look at solving poverty. Not you know, not, not like at the uh, ma micro level. Put it at a magnifying and then say that yeah, glorifying you know, the power. Yeah, like right. that. Glorifying power rather Correct. actually. Okay. They, somebody used to say that uh, you know, I mean the poverty has given job to so many people, <laughs> so many economists <laughs> and like that. Right. Okay. Correct. So <laughs> I'm saying your priorities are distorted. Right. Whereas I would say JNU has got the right to do that Absolutely. because it's a diversified university. No, not technology, it, not management. It has got anthropology department. Correct. No, it has got science department. Right. Okay. Right. But science department will do the science job. Correct. Okay. It has got sociology, history, and all that. That's that's their specialization. They're trained for that. Right. These guys do some PhD from abroad, which are the incubation centers <laughs> for these thoughts. Right. Right. Okay. And then they come out and then, you know, I mean, sort of unleash these things on the innocent students. Whatever may be my bias, you know, JK, in my life, I never try to, you know, prejudice any student. Reason being, I always say that you guys are very raw mind. You guys' brains are easily brainwashable for me. Correct. Correct. Okay. And I don't want to do that. I said only one request as for the students. I used to tell my students is have open mind. Okay, don't get opinionated listening right. to some people because you are still you cannot evaluate and you don't have the exposure to desire. Okay, but uh, this is what is happening. But one saving grace for all this is that mm -hmm. I mean is that ultimately in each of the institute you may count ten people a single digit. Right. But the problem is among the faculty and thing, among the students, some PhD students and somebody like that. Problem is that they get magnified. Immediately they get reported. Media like you people cover it. You don't cover me. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I was, okay, I was just media. So no, when I you. put something very thoughtful or positive or something, where is the buying in for that? Okay. So, I mean, I would say that the one encouraging point is this. So, I always tell, even these people, I meet them and tell some of the signatories. So, if there is any problem, you leave it as we will handle it locally. In fact, that's what I am trying to reach. Instead, I am telling you mobilize and counter that logically. Absolutely. And if necessarily, you know, escalate it within the institute and sort it out within the institute because it becomes ugly. Correct. Okay, it's not even normal or abnormal, it's ugly actually what's happening. It's spoiling the name when we are all, you know, going global and we are on a threshold, okay. Right. We are not in a you know, point of inflection or we are not in a point of crisis or something, but we are on threshold. But now if it, you know, if it puts back, then we can go back to 70s situation, 80s situation, which is not very typical because students are like that. They are very sensitive, emotional. That's what happens in the suicide case. Correct. Because when you see, I've seen the emotion a couple of times that has happened in my 20 years career, their emotions are very different. 
when you see somebody committing suicide among themselves, when they are themselves under severe pressure and like that, but we have taken lots of measures for that actually. All IIMs and IITs are taken a lot of measures. And hopefully we are, you know, in, not in control, but we are sensitized, we are sensitized people and we are really on it, you know, not on top of it, but at it. I mean, right. I mean, so uh, just coming back. Sure. So these IA, IAS and IPS people have written to the board of uh, directors of IEM. Do you think uh, it is going to take some decision sooner than later in terms of ensuring that the institute is kind of... Uh, the, the, the quality you know, is maintained. That will be the worst thing to do for the government. You know, what <laughs> happens is that that's what they want the government to do. Right. They're happy these guys wrote it. Because I know the mentality of the left liberals. Right. Okay. Because all of us, JK, I mean, you will all agree with me. When we are students, we start as communists. <laughs> True. The tragedy is even a little bit economic. They learn, they think they are communists. It's correct. Okay. Right. Then you see the reality, you all get the experience, you, get, you know, you understand the world. Then you slowly become moderate. Okay, you don't become right wing, but you become moderate. Okay. No, at least what I'm saying is, as but you said. what happens if government rights or tries to do something? Okay, what happens is that they'll fly, they will oh, his freedom is gone. You know, academic freedom is gone. Right. How will I work? Yeah, the strand, I mean, strand not writing through. a letter. Yes. How does it impact your research? <laughs> right. Okay, they how can you do research if there is no academic freedom? I mean, who's telling you what research to do? Correct. Okay. Yeah. I'm only asking why you are not researching this. Okay. I'm saying do research, more research. I'm not saying don't do this research, but I'm saying don't do only that research. Correct. Being from IIT is an other is user, join a central university that gives a much better Makes atmosphere. Sense. Makes sense. And you've got other colleagues with whom you can collaborate. Correct. Okay, you're in a wrong place. Very don't very blame true. the institute. <laughs> very true. If very it doesn't allow you. you okay. know? So government should try to encourage maybe I mean, have a brainstorm among directors. More than that, in fact, you should call the board members. Right. Governance lies at the board. Correct. Okay, and it has got representatives from faculty, deans, and directors. Right. Call a meeting in Delhi, discuss threat bear. All issues. Okay, this sort of language, why is it coming? Right. Why there's a feeling of loss of academic freedom? Is it genuine or made up? Where is it coming from? And discuss suicide issue also. Why is it happening? What are you guys are doing? Let the government ask the institute. Let them explain. Okay, because ultimately government plays the flags. Isn't Correct. It? If there's suicide, they have to. Yeah. So because police is, has to come in like that. Okay. Right. So I would say that, that sort of frank discussion is required and consensus is required. But I'm not hopeful of much change because these guys thrive on it. So they, they, they make some issue or the other, isn't they, it? You can always find. I mean, in fact, I used to think these guys are so shallow, I can give them much better issues to fight. <laughs> they don't even want questions to ask these left right. liberals. I, I guess anyway, they have the toolkit. You to know what? Forward. This uh, recently on Ashoka University incident Inst happened. Absolutely. And Absolutely. that guy, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I mean, do they think that Modi reads all these papers, <laughs> working papers, academic papers, and then PMO will tell, you know, no, no, we don't. They don't care. They okay. don't care. In fact, I once uh, tweeted saying. In fact, more than this academic paper, we, we know that they are openly written in all the op-eds about Modi. I guess it doesn't even care. Okay. One thing I'll tell you, JK, I mean, I was once telling, somebody tweeted one dissertation of I am Ahmedabad. Right. I said, sir, maximum 10 people read a dissertation because you tweeted it has become a bestseller now. <laughs> Why do you make it a bestseller? I mean, if somebody Correct. has published it, let him do that. Nobody Absolutely. reads this. Absolutely. Absolutely. Because some left paper and some magazines flashes it. Right. Again, only left guys read it. You are not, I mean, we are not bothered. We, we are amplifying that. it. They are not influencers. Correct. They are not influencers. They shouldn't be also. So why do you give them that platform? You will be giving them a platform to react. So I always try to generate locally responses, not resistances. Right. You have to respond. Right. Okay, don't react, don't resist. Right. Because then you are glorifying them. You know, that's what they want actually. They, that they, they, are successful, a they are successful on it as well. They are, I mean, they have been trained. They have been, ever since the Soviet <laughs> revolution, I mean, yeah. these things have been going on. Okay. And uh, they know a little bit English also, okay, <laughs> yeah. which is their strength. And uh, so they are just uh, leveraging it beautifully. And it's, it's mind you, uh, not to, it's also actually advancing their career 
they are really prospecting on that. Absolutely. Okay, so so embedded is that Absolutely. lobby. Right. P Guru knows it. What's our, I mean, sorry, <laughs> our man C knows it in yeah. you know in US. Yeah. And uh, so this all been talked about in US now. In fact, you know, that's that's what we are all trying to do. Bring some sense. It definitely needs a sense. Right. Okay. In IITs and I am, and they need to reflect. What's happening? You know, why are outsiders talking about us? True. And we are not that. Okay. True. So why are we giving this opening to others to talk like us? No. Hopefully, I guess uh, everybody uh, from 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 the board, from uh, from from in fact from the government, people are listening to you. I guess we made some really really sensible points with regards to why we have to amplify their protest at all. Right. Hopefully, uh, even the the board will look into the letter written by the retired. IAS and IPS officer and do something about it. Thank you very much for your time. I'm very hopeful, you know, JK, why? Because I'll tell you all said and yeah, we these are all great institutions. Correct. But let me tell you one thing, okay, this is my last word, last you know, remark is that all every institution is fragile, is shakeable. Correct. Okay. And you need to, you know, sort of um, curate it, you need to sort of protect it. Okay. You cannot just keep on throwing pelting stones at that. Okay, so let's refrain that. You know, let there be some restraint both internally and externally. You know, and I hope some sense will provide. You know, Absolutely. thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.